Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today. It's the 23rd of November 2023. Happy Thanksgiving Day. And it's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Market, to lead you around what's happening in what might be a low volume day today with the US markets being shut. We saw US equities having mild gains overnight as the recent buy and return before the Thanksgiving Day break, uh, which was interesting. Often before a holiday of any description, we sometimes see a sell off, a bit of risk coming off the table. We didn't see that last night. We saw it close near the highs. Uh, US futures are flat in early Asian trading, but off the lows, Asian markets are mixed. The ASX is really not moving very well at all today. It's trading around 0.4% to the downside. There are a few bright spots, uh, but they are few and far between. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive opening at this stage, and the VIX paused after its recent downtrend around September support. The US dollar index bounced off August levels after the recent sell-off overnight, but is under the 200 EMA and is not looking particularly good in Asia today. Gold and copper are both recovering after a soft night overnight, and oil really was weaker overnight, remains within that short term range. Remember, there was a resistance there, which it's come back down from. Uh, and that was on the back of some higher than expected build in oil inventories, according to the EIA last night. Bitcoin did bounce and move back to the top of a short term range. 38,000 is the key level. And as well as reduced volume, it doesn't mean that there's no markets open. Of course, we've got significant data coming out of the uk and the eurozone with global pmi numbers we do have the us number tomorrow so still a fair amount for markets to think about and still the bulls remain in control a couple of charts that caught our eye today if we start by looking at the us yen i put it on the four hourly chart just so you can see the broader price action you can see this downtrend we've had in the usd had a bit of a tick up over the last couple of days but you can see in today's price action we are not positive at all and may Come down and test 149 if we do that i think there's possibly a 40 to 50 pip move to the downside we can see this more clearly on a 30 minute chart in terms of what might happen and so we're watching this level here at this stage we look as though we may be pausing but we may get some movement again once the european session opens on the asx we are just keeping an eye on tyro payments ticket code tyr you can see it's stuck under this 104 level which looks as though it's pretty solid resistance and has been for the last couple of weeks failing to close above that level so that's an obvious potential for a breakout uh, so if we get a close let's say at 105 we could see it up to around about 114 115 which will be around about a nine percent if it manages to hit 105 so one to keep an eye on not only for today but possibly over the course of the next few trading days as well trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now